Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, um, thank you for watching. So today we've got something a little bit different, we have started this morning at 2 o'clock, um, we are heading up to Blackburn uh, for a, deliver 7 pallets and then over to Cheshire to deliver another 7 pallets. Um, these pallets and that have come in from uh, the south of France from a colleague last week and he's off today so we're just finishing this little run up. I'm not really entirely sure what I'm doing afterwards. There was talks of going up to Scotland to load out of Scotland to France again but we'll have to see what happens when it comes. I just thought I'd jump on, say good morning to you guys, talk a bit about what I've done this weekend um, and then yeah. I should have had a video uploaded from my trip to France last week. Uh, if you haven't watched it, definitely go and check it out. Um, but I've been having problems with my upload so I spent all weekend trying to upload it and my Wi-Fi at home hasn't been very good. So I'm going to give that a go again this week so you should have one well, you should probably end up having one at the start of this week and then you'll have this one at the end of the week. Um, yeah, so that's that's been a bit annoying. So obviously, if you guys checked out my video, which I did on my birthday last week, which was the cab tour, uh, it should have uploaded the same day as that, but obviously it's about it's just over an hour long, so it's having a bit of issues. So I'm going to try and do it on my phone signal this, today. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so this weekend, basically, uh, all my uh, lights arrived from Callum Truck Styling. Um, can't knock them, ordered them all on Wednesday and they were with me at my house by Friday. Um, all tip top, got some gully lights for the mirrors and the steps and then um, got the... Uh, what are they called? Sorry, I'm trying to think now. Uh, got the marker lights for the top visor, so both of those are now orange. And we've got the DRLs for the bottom lights, so they're also orange. I've managed to get some power to, walk, to put some double burners on. Um, so I'm just waiting for a junction box to arrive. And then once the junction box arrives, I will be able to look at getting the gully lights on. Um, my passenger side mirror is slightly damaged the arm so I think that's what's causing my temperature issues as well because that's obviously where one of the outdoor temperature sensors are so the plan is for that is to get the whole arm replaced because the mirror's uh, got a little bit of damage from the previous driver as well so hopefully we can get all of that replaced and then once that's replaced then I can get the gully lights fitted and then, um, yeah, we'll be uh, on to a winner then. Uh, headboard wise, I've got a headboarder, a headboard in sight that's coming. Um, and then we're just going to chuck some Volvo marker lights on that one. Basically, just see how it um, goes. I don't want to go too overboard because I like the simple sort of look. So then, once we've done those little bits, and I think we're just going to go with a few little bits of paint to try and make everything sort of... I'm just going to go with white, I think. Uh, maybe one of our other colleagues has got a DAF, um, which is like a really nice blue. So we might do a couple of bits of that blue, sort of fit in with the um, company colours. But yeah, apart from that, it's been a good weekend. We had Indian at the weekend on Saturday night to celebrate my birthday. And then just sort of chilled out yesterday had a roast dinner and then we were back to it in the truck last night as we obviously we were starting so early so we just stay in the truck so it saves me getting up at stupid o'clock and driving to the yard but yeah so we're just coming up to Bridgewater now we're gonna keep on going up and I'll catch you on the flip side so guys um, we've just arrived at our first delivery um, bit of a funny one because it says on the paperwork strictly 8 a.m. Um, and it's like do not be late and then got here at 5 2 went in there and the first thing the bloke said to me was oh they go on break at eight o'clock I was like all oh, right brilliant okay so yeah 
So that's that, so I'm basically now waiting. Oh, there's someone at the back of the trailer, so I wonder if they're ready for me now. Let's go and have a look. So guys, um, that was someone that was coming over to my trailer. Basically, like I was saying, I was split in at eight o'clock and they came out at quarter past eight, which is not too bad. Um, it is now, I'm tipped and on the road, basically stuck in this traffic, which seems to be just because of these traffic lights. Um, so hopefully we'll be able for it in a minute. The sun is on the horizon, which is nice. It is so cold up here. It's like minus one at the moment. Um, but everything's frozen. I'm just trying to work out. My next delivery is back down a little bit. We've got to go over to Cheshire. It's about an hour and ten minutes away. But it's just not going to be a good time to be doing any of that because we're obviously talking, what, it's quarter to nine right now on a Monday morning. So I can imagine it's just gonna consist of this. We're trying to get onto the M65 currently and then back down to the M6 and then down towards Liverpool. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna make this light because yeah. Yes, it's all because of these part-time Lights, but I can imagine that if there was no lights here, it'd probably be absolute carnage. Apologies for the handbrake noise again. Uh, but yeah, so what we're doing is just basically heading down to Cheshire um, to get our, I think we've got another 10 pallets or something like that. Uh, I can tell you one second. No, I can't because it doesn't actually say on the paperwork. But yeah, it doesn't actually say how many pallets it is. I'll put them on the trailer so I should know, but I can't actually remember. The last place was seven, it wasn't a full load, so I think it's like 10. Oh, we're off. I wonder why they're all in that left lane. <laughs> The only thing with these sort of traffic like roundabouts, everyone just squeezes through and then it causes absolute carnage. What I'm hoping is we can sort of get up, get these deliveries done. I'm not sure whether this is the lane for the M I go, M65 West. That's the one we want. Hopefully we can make it round here. Oh. big flashing sign there it says risk of ice when i was on the motorway earlier on the m6 it was absolute carnage it just started snowing out of nowhere for about three miles and the, all four lanes were covered in snow and then um it just stopped so i don't really know what that is what it was about but there's loads of signs everywhere um oh that was nice i have an aston martin but yeah, there was loads of signs over there saying like um, severe weather warnings um, for the north as of tomorrow. So I haven't actually looked. I'll have to have a look online and see what that's for. But hopefully it's not for snow because we want to be out of here if it's for snow. Because I want to go to Europe somewhere. Not there as many places in Europe but uh, that much warmer where we'll be going. But hopefully we'll at least get over the water this week. I'm not too fussed about being, we were home this weekend obviously, I'm not too fussed about being home on the weekends um, at the moment because obviously it's very much just chill out. Sorry, I'm just trying to decide whether I squeeze around these guys or wait patiently because they're all queuing to go right. So we're going to squeeze through that little gap there which is ideal. And then we're going to go left here. This person's going to pull out in front of us. It's absolutely carnage that junction. It obviously must be a um, popular one to use. Apart from the traffic, I don't, I don't mind this part of the country because you're sort of like, 
in the hills and stuff, especially with like the M62 and the M65, like they both run through the middle. Um, I've not really done a lot up here. Uh, that's why I like Scotland really, because I still haven't really done a lot of Scotland. I've uh, been to like Aberdeen and Petershead and Glasgow and stuff, but I've never been anywhere higher up or anything like that. I went to Dumfries once, but it's not really that far over the border, is it? It's only up an hour, so. But yeah, so that's us on the road again. Um, if we see anything exciting, I'll give you an insight of that. But really, we're just heading down to Cheshire and we'll um, see how it goes. Um, not really much to report this morning. Uh, we're basically still waiting for a job. We're in the services. Um, it's snowed overnight, so there's quite a lot of snow out on the road. Um, but yeah, currently, as you might be able to see the orange fashion lights, we are flat. The battery is flat. We have scanner assist out. You can see the snow in the background over there. Um, May boys come out. The batteries obviously are completely flat. I haven't had anything on. Uh, I've had problems with the batteries a few times now, so hopefully this final time they will um, actually get them changed. And then once they're changed, we can sort of, uh, yeah, then we can use the truck as normal. I've had problems with the microwave uh, for the last few weeks, saying battery errors and that. The truck starts to struggle to start um, and the fridge cuts out and stuff like that. So yeah, fingers crossed. He said he's going to tidy up, the, clean up the terminals um, and then have a look if he can run the test. Sounds like he's actually taking the battery terminals off and maybe even the batteries out, which would be awesome. Um, but yeah, so we're going to see how that goes. And then, yeah, if anything, well, yeah, if anything happens, if we get back on the road, I can jump back on and we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, wish me luck. Um, we are back and actually doing some work. So, um, yeah, it's now Wednesday evening. We've got a long night shift ahead. Uh, so again, probably not going to be a lot of footage, but I'm hoping to change this video into something decent now. So at the start of the week, we didn't really know where we were going or what we were doing. Um, it took us a couple of days to sort of find out what the plan was. Uh, so we just chilled out in the truck, played a bit of Xbox. Uh, the truck batteries actually died, um, but they've been having problems for a few weeks now. So Scania have come out, fitted new batteries, which is decent. So we, we should be good on that front, which is nice to know. It's quite reassuring in this sort of weather. Uh, we've had a lot of snow over here. Um, so yeah, currently getting loaded uh, over in Telford now. We've got a nice trip up to Bathgate. We've got a tip in Bathgate tonight, well, slash tomorrow morning. We've got to be there at 4 a.m. So um, we'll be flat out up, up the road. Uh, once we've tipped, uh, it's a self tip in Bathgate, so we'll tip there, and then we got a couple of hours down to uh, go across the A66 and yeah, load out of a town called Barnard Castle. And then once we're loaded, uh, we should be parking straight up afterwards because that'll probably be up to our 15 hour day. Um, fingers crossed, we can get out of here pretty quick, and that'll sort of get us going, um, and then we won't be pushed too pushed for time. Uh, we're loading a chilled load here. And then we are delivering that, and then we'll be at plus 20. Uh, once we've done that load, oh, we've got a nice truck coming down here. Blue Trotter Volvo. Um, anyway, yeah, so 
that's pretty much for that now uh this trip out will be a nice trip uh, i'm hoping i can get it back into days um if not we've got a boat trip on the dover to calais in the evening and then once we've done that we'll be over on a long drive down and um i'll reveal the location where we're actually going a little bit later on but yeah um stick with it i am currently still uploading last week's video it's been a nightmare it's been four or five days now it's been trying to upload i've i've halved it re-edited it so it's um half the size um it's at 78 percent, but it just gets to like 90 percent and then crashes so i'm hoping that this time because i've halved it and we're on the road now it might be a bit better once i've uploaded that um that one should be clear to go uh hopefully tonight and then i'll get the other one uploaded and then i can start editing this one uh, I'm just sort of getting used to it all. I've sort of get around my head around the editing, but my Wi-Fi, like I said before, is not very great at home. Um, so I have to upload out on the road, and then obviously I'm relying on my phone plan. So that's very hit and miss. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, anything update-wise in the evening, I will uh, jump back. If not, we will come back in the morning. Uh, <laughs> And we have then tipped up in Bathgate in Scotland. We are currently just turning up to Barnard Castle now. Um, we're just trying to, well, we're just trying to do it along, really. We've been trying to get there a little bit earlier. It's, it's quarter to nine, so we're booked in at nine. Originally, I was going to get there at nine, um, which is decent. But now we're going to get there at five too. So we're just hopefully this guy doesn't go the same way as we're going because that would be frustrating because then all that time we made up, no, he's not going that way. So I just thought I'd jump on because obviously this is the only bit of work really I've done this week that's been in the daytime. So um, yeah, we're going to shoot off down into Barnard Castle. Um, should be able to see a few little bits and bobs uh, on this little bit of road it's the only actual it's the uh, it's the lorry route into barnard castle um i don't know much about it but i'm assuming it's a town i want to say um because it's reasonably big uh but yeah there's obviously the castle itself and all of the surrounding land um if you know anything about it then uh yeah feel free to drop a comment because i always like to learn things um but yeah so this is the actual lorry route in and out. Um, we've got this guy here that we've already met, which I'm glad we met in there and not further down. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit 
to be fair, it's been an all right shift. Um, we managed to get tipped at um, Bathgate quite well. I self tipped, so I did that in about 35 minutes and then I was ready to go. Uh, and then the bloke was like, oh, we're going to have to check it all now. Um, so go and wait in your lorry for about 30 minutes. And I was like, oh, great. So that put us a little bit behind. Um, but yeah, the fridge is, fridge is off cold because it was set to chill to zero degrees. Uh, put, it, put it on 20 and hopefully by the time we get there in a minute, it will be up to 20. Uh, there's a threshold, so because of what we're loading, they won't let you load if it's not anywhere between nine, well, 19.5 and uh, above. So that's to do with the product. So um, fingers crossed, it'll be up there and we can get straight on the bay. Last time I came here, I had lots of issues because my trailer, I'd had it cleaned and all this sort of stuff, uh, all the proper procedures um, and it smelt funny uh, so yeah so that didn't go very well and I had to go away and wash it and all that so fingers crossed this time we have a, a lot more success with that um, but yeah apart from that I'll tell you where, where we're going now we're uh, we'll be loading to go to um, Slovenia the only downside is like I say we're we're nearly finishing this shift for today so um, we won't be starting again till tonight which kind of sucks because that means it will be a night shift again um, not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it back into days either but we'll have to um, wait and see um, if I can get it back into days the delivery is for six o'clock Monday morning so after on Monday morning we should be able to get some good quality videos um, but like I say, we'll have to one we'll have to see what happens. I still find it very bizarre that this is the main route for any lorry into this town or village. Uh, you wouldn't want to come up here if it was bad weather, it's hell of a steep. You met another lorry where this guy is here. If we met any of those lorries behind where, oh, so I take it back, where that woman was there, um, yeah, that could be a problem. So, yeah, so as we come into the, um, definitely going to have to look it up. I'm going to go with town. I'm just going to stick with town. As we come into the town, um, it gets a bit tight around the town centre because um, the industrial estate is actually on the other side of the town, which you'll see in a second. Um, but overall, it's actually a really nice place. Um, proper, like, old school, loads of, like, fencing area, brick walls for all the fields and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I'm hoping there's a lay-by here on the right-hand side. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to park there after I'm finished because I'm not going to have a lot of time. So, yeah, this lay-by here on the right, hopefully I'll be able to park there for nine hours off. Um, or oh, maybe get um, some food from that burger man. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But yeah. So we're going to go left here, but you'll start to see all of the old style stone walls. Um, lots of weight limits around here. I don't know. If I turn the camera in a second, slightly to the right, you might actually see the. There's like a big mansion house. If I turn it like that, that's as far as it's going to go. So hopefully you guys will be able to see it. Um, apologies if that was noisy, but it shouldn't ring because I've got my mic on. But yeah, um, what did you guys think of the last videos? If you've watched them with my unsuccessful trip to France, um, that was obviously all filmed with a microphone. So any feedback on that would be great. Um, just yeah, just in general, really. Um, if you've got anything to say good or bad crack on um, always appreciated so as we come into the town here there's oh maybe it's actually yeah some Barnard cattle you got that on the left there I've only ever been here once so um, 
the building I was talking about is just after this wall on the right. I'm not. I'm, can you see it up there on the right? You can't really see it. Um, there you go. There you go. On the right hand side, right now, um, massive like sort of manor house style thing. Um, what I still need to do is get a go. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, I need to get a GoPro on the side window. I'll slow down for the door so you guys can see the gateway. But yeah, proper fancy. Oh, it's a museum. But yeah, so that's that. Uh... Good morning, guys. Um, just thought I'd quickly jump on. I've just done my walk around checks. You can just see how hanging the lorry is from um, the snow stuff over the last couple of days up in Scotland and stuff um, I'm just basically now getting ready to hit the road we're in Lemming Bar services uh, we just had a nine off uh, and a shower and all that sort of stuff so we're winning on that front um, just basically yeah, like I said just done my checks um, obviously another night shift so probably not a lot, a lot to see Hopefully I'll be able to show you guys Sevington um, customs um, and then yeah we'll be able to talk through that. Sorry if it's noisy. Fridge is on. Loads ready to go. Glory needs a wash. But yeah. Right. Let's hit the road. Hello. Um, so we are basically just heading into Sevington um, for customs. I've had to do this as a voiceover because I've put it on the um, time lapse due to not actually being able to film in here and needing to use my phone. So um, as you come into here, it's basically an inland border facility. Um, uh, personally, I think it's a waste of time. But there's basically hundreds of people in high-vis coats that tell you where to go. Um, once you've gone in, they park you up. And as you can see on the left here, they make you park in the exact bays so all the foreigners have to squeeze between each other which is always a nightmare but finger, well, well not fingers crossed because it's already happened luckily I was only in there for 15 minutes so guys um, apologies if you can't hear this that great uh, basically just going to do this little bit on the GoPro um, if it doesn't come out too well I'll do a voiceover on it um, just because I need my phone to show the man or woman at the desk my customs documents. Um, so, yeah, we can't unfortunately use the phone to record on because then I have to stop the video. And that would be annoying. So, um, yeah, we're just coming down the hill into Dover. Uh, we've been to Sivak. No, sorry, we haven't been to Sivak. We've been to Sevington. Um, and we are customs sorted now. Um, I pre-booked on the app, which is a really handy way to do it, so it means you don't have to get out as many times. So I pre-booked to show, tell them what time I'm going to get there. Um, I arrived, they sent me a text message to say that I've arrived and they know that I'm there. And then I waited and I was parked, waiting, got a text message to say that it was ready, back in there, got, well not back in there, got in there, got the paperwork and back in the truck in 15 minutes. So um, can't really complain on that front. Um, the next issue is probably going to be coming to the, um, that's great, it doesn't want to hang around, coming to the boat now because from online it doesn't look like there is one for another couple of hours uh, so I'll just be deciding whether then I'm gonna have my break uh, over in Calais or I'm just 
because it, it's this sort of time and they all know that there's no point of getting there at this time because obviously there's no boats. We're on with DFDS today so I'll probably give you guys a little show around that boat because um, the other day we were on the Pioneer which was a P&O boat and then we were on the St. Mount, Michael Mount or something like that um, which is a Brittany Ferries boat so yeah so we're just coming in now uh, this is the bottom roundabout um, and we will just come around to see what lanes we need to be in um, when it's busy normally they make each lane for certain um, boats so DFDS, Irish Ferries, P&O um, but we'll see what it is so it looks like all lorries can use G
right.
that's it. That is the process of booking on a DF DS boat. So um, I shall jump back on when we're on the boat and hopefully I'll use my microphone and we'll be able to hear me. So that is us boarding the boat now. Um, I'm still using the GoPro because I didn't have a chance to... He basically let me go on before anyone else. He told me to put my hazard lights on. Um, which I assume is how they're going to identify me as the um, one that needs to be plugged in. So um, hopefully that will go down well. I don't know which side he's going to put me on. So guys, that is us back in the cab after the boat trip over to Calais. Um, we're just waiting now to be a disembark the ferry. I thought while we were doing this, I'll just show you guys the taco again. So on the taco screen, we're going to press OK. And then we're going to go down to places. We have to do this every time we enter a new country. So we're going to select begin place. And currently it says we are in the UK. Um, I don't know if that's actually going to sound very good because apparently I'm holding the mic in my hand. But yeah, so we're going to scroll all the way down to when we get to France. There you go, and then we're going to press OK. Save the changes and begin the country in the back. And then we can make sure that's on. This is the situation in the surfaces. Lots of snow. The floor is very much the same. Um, quite icy. They've cleared a couple of the paths, but nothing, anything else really. Uh, I'm all parked up and I'm basically having a nine off again. And I'm going to go tonight and then run the rest of my day out. And then, yeah, okay. oh, we're shoveling all the snow hard working but yeah we're gonna see how we get on today have a nap and see
Dude. So basically, I'm not sure what keeps happening. Um, I need to have a look into it and read the instructions on this mic because uh, it was plugged in at this point. Um, this was just the the night of where you've just seen the clip before. It was leaving those services where I walked through that snow and got my shoes soaking wet. Um, it was nice and slippy. It looked like they'd basically kept on top of the main route where the cars went but weren't too fussed about um, the lorry park. Obviously you can see that it's not horrendous but it was definitely by this point refrozen. Really um, from what I remember it was around minus five. I did talk the whole way through this um, and obviously now I'm having to put a voice over on it so I'm going to have to pay a bit more attention. I think I'm going to try and um, basically do like a little test clip of a video and uh, make sure the mic is definitely working before I go away and do a couple of minutes of talking because it's just frustrating having to go over voice over to you guys because obviously I'm chatting away about what I can see and what's going on whereas now I've got to remember what I was doing at that point and what I was talking about um, so obviously trying my best um, well, this is what I was talking about a second ago about how clear it is the main drag and a lot of the lorries were just parking on the main bit and not bothering with the um, car park, or the lorry park, sorry, uh, because of obviously the snow in there. Um, it got a lot better um, as we went out onto the main road. It was just basically, the situation with France and Belgium was everywhere main road was fine, and then anywhere off the main road was not good. Um, shortly after this clip, I went into the fuel station that was just off at one of the junctions about five minutes afterwards um, and that was like all snow exactly the same as it was where the parking area was um, so obviously they they're doing the best they can uh, obviously a lot better than the UK would but I'm assuming it's probably because this part of Belgium isn't so familiar with this amount of snow I might be wrong um, but from what I understand is obviously the Calais area of France and into the lower parts of Belgium don't get it as badly as Germany and Austria and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, so that was that. So we were basically just getting on um, the motorway here to go up to Liège uh, and cross over um, into Germany shortly. And uh, then we had to pull over and check our taco and put it onto Germany. But the issue with that was, again, that was the first sign of seeing it for the, um, the evening was everywhere was rammed uh, it's always quite bad in europe but there wasn't anywhere to park so it was sort of a pullover on the slip road of a um, parking area quickly changed the taco and i couldn't even get into the parking area so i had to then pull out back onto the, the motorway out of the in section um which was interesting but yeah we got there in the end um so yes yeah, so pretty much hopefully the mic works for the rest of the video and uh, yeah stick with me Yeah, so basically I jinxed it. Um, I looked into the video, the mic, and then I did this video of me um, basically parked in the services in Germany. Uh, I went in and showed um, the services itself, uh, talked the whole way through, and turned out the mic didn't work. So I was just doing a voiceover. Um, basically, the snow in Germany was a lot worse, but obviously because they are so used to it, they were able to manage with it a lot better. So all of the roads were clear. Uh, it was just all sort of pushed to the side. Um, none of the lorries had any problems getting in and out of the services. You can see how busy it is, though, because they're all parked all the way across all the car spaces um, and across, like, basically anywhere you could get in a lorry. Um, I struggled to have a 45-minute break when I was in my place in Germany, and then I got to this place at about 6 in the morning, and there was a couple of spaces, so I parked in the space, and I was meant to be travelling down a bit further, but I decided that I would have a 45-hour break-off um, here because I didn't want to travel any closer to Austria because obviously they had a ban in place. So it would have been an issue uh, getting parked up further down the road. So as you can see, um, this is just your traditional German services. Um, 
got the play area and all that outside. Uh, you got these little weird fire pit things that I was looking at. Well, I I look at them and see them as fire pits, but after looking at two of them, they might have just been uh, some sort of plant pottery. But to me, that looks like a um, thing that you'd have a fire going in it. Um, and then yeah, we went into the services. There was a lot of arcade machines, uh, cash machines. Uh, this place had a um, play area inside. Also, as you'll see now, it had a Burger King, um, which I was tempted by, but I ended up having, uh, not the Burger King, I ended up having uh, chips, sausage, um, a German sausage, and um, some other stuff, as you'll see on this uh, little clip of the, on the board there. It was really good, to be fair, and it was not even overpriced, so um, can't complain there. Um, this, obviously, so they had the Burger King, that restaurant, and then they had like a sort of snack area, uh, some few more gambling machines, um, and just yeah, loads of stuff. They also sold Dicer in here, and I thought, well, maybe this would be good, but it was seventeen euros ninety nine for three liters, because obviously mine's frozen. So I thought, oh, it'd be a minus thirty, it would go up to, but yeah, you could win Apple TVs, iPhones, everything in this little services. Um, I basically just went in there so that I could uh, go to the toilet, which in Germany you have to pay for. So, yeah, that cost a euro to go to the toilet. So it's one of them situations. But, yeah, um, you have to check out this fancy toilet now, though. Uh, so after, the to after you've been to the toilet, when you flush the toilet, it um, self-cleans itself. So a little thing goes down and it, like, cleans it all up as well. Again. So, guys, um, I thought I would just jump on quickly um, and basically just have a chat to you guys while I sorted out the first half of this video um, basically I'm just doing my GoPro side of things so I've got my GoPro here which due to the actual weather how cold it is it's decided to fall off the windscreen so I need to resort that out but um, yeah so I am currently parked in Germany where we parked up to last night um, I was going to go down to the Austrian border but due to a uh, ban truck ban from Austria on Saturday which is today uh, I've decided to stay here uh, have a whole 45 hour break um, so that I'm all refreshed on my hours and then I can run down at about four o'clock um, German time on Monday morning which will then mean that I'll be able to um, get to Austria just before five or around five o'clock and uh, that that's when the ban lifts so I should just be able to plane sail through Austria then uh, into Slovenia and then we'll be able to make our delivery. Um, we've got to deliver Monday and then we've also got to drop uh, back through into Austria, drop down Austria into Italy uh, to reload and then fingers crossed we'll be able to get all that done, uh, park up and then head back because uh, uh, of the night bans in um, Austria you can't drive between the hours of 10 o'clock and five o'clock at night but also in this time of year and also some weekends in the summer so in the summer is obviously for the summertime um the holidays and all that but obviously currently now you've got ski season so uh, they've got saturday bands so they're from three o'clock in the afternoon we wouldn't have made it through by three o'clock and i've been told the fine's quite um, large so we don't really want that so basically we're going to be uh yeah just doing that so i'm just going through my current videos um just to make sure that everything's good uh, that was just a sunset one that's not too great of footage um so we're just going to go through we've got one coming off the boat um that's obviously a short one we've got a few that i need to edit up I'm not sure what the eight minutes are sometimes i leave the uh camera on and forget but Oh, this is when we. So when we came down into Dover, I basically used the GoPro because I was going to be talking away on the thing. So we've got an eight-minute video there, and then we've got an eight-minute video there. I wonder if they're the same video, or is this a different video? Ah, oh, so I think this has been so such a big video that it's actually skipped into two. Yes, because it ends there. Basically, we um, go into issues, as you would have seen earlier on in a video. But yeah, I'm going to sort all this out um, and just sort of thought well, I'd 
while I was doing this, I'll jump on, give you a quick update of what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to upload this as part one, um, and then part two we'll do the delivery in, uh, collection, and then heading back up. Um, hopefully the scenery will be good because we'll be on a uh, day work. So yeah, um, please do drop us a like on this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, head over to my channel and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I appreciate everyone's feedback so far. Uh, and all the birthday messages that I've received over the last couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone. And yeah, please like and subscribe and uh, follow for part two.